few words about the scope, which is a module which is essentially a left side of the Gantt chart. Whatever you can see on the left side on the Gantt chart, you will be able to see on the scope because it's a part which is cut out from the Gantt chart. And why would you use such, um, such module? Well, this is because in the beginning of the project or program, you want to focus on the scope. You want to focus on what needs to be done and you don't have any dependencies yet. That's why the scope module is very simplistic, but it has a couple of functionalities which help you in determining if your scope is correct and how does it look like. So here in this scenario, I have the, I have a couple of columns. I have the issue type, key, summary, assignee status. But it's a lot of statuses. If you would like to see a, an executive overview, then there is no problem whatsoever. While having the status column or having the, for example, time tracking column, which you can add, by the way, very easily with this cog wheel, you can sum those values up. So how would you do that? Well, basically you hover over the column header and this will show you a wrench icon. This wrench icon hides aggregations. This is a powerful tool uh, and I advise you, I invite you actually to visit wrench icons on every column, especially the numeric fields and the time tracking types. So on an example of a status, I see that my portfolio, I don't, I don't see the status of my portfolio. It's empty. This is because the portfolio itself doesn't have a status in big picture, but it can attain one as an aggregation of all of the items which reside in this portfolio. This would be selecting an aggregation children statuses. And hey, presto, with one click, we can see our waterfall projects and a summary, agile projects, much bigger summary, and all the numbers summed up just like that. If you like percentages more, then here you are, percentages it is. Also in this overview, you can have a picture-in-picture -picture immersion by selecting the detail view. This is similarly to the Gantt detail view, giving a picture-in-picture -picture to your JIRA interface. And any changes, if you like them very much, you can actually save them in line. So I've made some changes, I love them basically. I want to save them and overwrite the previous settings and here it is, now it's done. And as I mentioned, quick filters, they are everywhere and it's a good thing. 